this week is a short battle of the ports, but a very special one because today we are taking a look at Cave's very first shooter, Donpachi. Released in 1995 with the story of an excessive military exercise being put into motion to create the strongest army ever to take out the Master B. You know this is one far-fetched game and the game that sparked off the bullet hell shooters. The player gets the choice of three fighters to control, each with three weapon types. There's a standard shooter, a laser style weapon and bomb attack. The bomb attack can vary between two types depending upon whether you are using the fire or laser attack. Using the fire attack allows for much faster movement, but with the consequence of weaker attacks. While the laser is much stronger but limits your fighter's speed. With only 5 stages, Donpachi isn't that long, however, in good old arcade tradition, the game does loop to a higher difficulty setting and reveals a little more about the game's story. The first port of Donpachi came to the Sega Saturn on April 26, 1996. This was developed in-house by Cave and published by Atlas, but only in Japan. Upon booting the Saturn port, we get the main game options. That allows us to choose our screen type. We'll go with the Tate mode of course to replicate the arcade version. Now here is where things get interesting. The Saturn game is missing the arcade style title screen and does take quite a while to load for a Saturn game. But that's not the interesting part. Now see those horrible shimmering lines? Well if we pause the game we can adjust the screen aspect ratio in real time just like a modern console shooter. The best default option is RGB which gives us the arcade resolution eliminating the shimmering. The speech and sound effects are presented at a higher fidelity than the arcade game, but the speech samples are too hot, leading to distortion. The music is fine though, but with it being Redbook CD audio, it does tend to loop throughout some stages. As for looks, well, the Saturn port is pretty much the same as the arcade game. However, it does suffer from a lot more slowdown due to unoptimized programming. Overall, this is a pretty good port of Donpachi. Plus the added score attack mode adds that little extra to an admittedly short arcade game.
Please select your battle type. Power up! Power up! Released on the 18th of October 1996 came the PlayStation port, which was also developed by Cave, but this time published by SPS. So the main consensus on the net is that Donpachi on the PlayStation is better than the Saturn port. Is this true? Well, let's take a look. First off, we have the ability to choose screen resolutions of 320 x 240, 240 x 240 and arcade tate mode with the option to play with or without reverse controls. However, unlike the Saturn game, you can't change the screen options in-game. So no real-time tweaking here. The actual game looks very much like the arcade original. It all seems to be there, but it's not perfect. There can be some quite bad slowdown and possibly dropped frames when a bomb is detonated. This doesn't happen on the Saturn version, but then again, the PlayStation version doesn't seem to have as much slowdown during normal gameplay. The sound effects and speech, as I'm sure you can clearly hear, are quite muffled. In fact, they sound really bad, but at least they aren't distorted. Also, we have the same issue with the CD audio that the Saturn faces. So, is this really a much better port? Both versions slow down in areas. Both have issues with audio. The Saturn has the ability to customize the screen aspect ratio freely, the PlayStation does not. The Saturn has the time attack mode, the PlayStation does not. The PlayStation does feature the arcade title screen sequence, the Saturn does not. So, which do you think is the better port? Power up! Please continue! Let's take a look at all those versions of Don Pachi running side by side. 